collapsed, old friendship seven. Now, as he was floating through that vast eternity, a strange feeling overcame him. He looked out one of the capsule windows, and do you know what he saw? He saw God. What do you see out the other one? <laughs> Report to your guidance counselor. No problem. I know the way. Miss Spear has just about had it with you. She says you were making fun of God. No, I wasn't. Look, Mr. Beanley, I don't know if I believe in God or not, but if he does exist, he's not up there trying to hitch a ride on the space shuttle. <laughs> Spencer, I just don't know what your problem is. Well, I think it began with my name. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, people expect you to act a certain way based on what your name is. Take a Herbie. He's always going to have his underwear hanging outside his pants. <laughs> and you take a Brent. He's always going to be the cool guy. God, I hate him. <laughs> hey, see, Spencer, that's an odd name. So people expect me to act odd. Well, that's crazy. No, no, it's not. Well, like, what's your first name? Benjamin. Benny Beanley. <laughs> You must have a tough life. Look at your grades. A D in physics. Mr. Beanley, the scientist who invented the hydrogen bomb got an A in physics. I'm just doing my best to keep the world out of trouble. Spencer, <laughs> enough of this bull. <laughs> now, come on, you can talk to me. What's bothering you, hmm? Is it... Is it a... Uh, a girl? No, no, I don't have one now. You're not interested in girls? You're not hoo-hoo, are you? No. No, I, I think girls are terrific. Especially the ones that have an extra button undone in their blouse. See, I figure they do that because they want you to look at their breasts. We do not say breasts in this office. Do we think about them? <laughs> when are you going to grow up and be an adult like me? Never, I hope. <laughs> That's really immature. Mr. Beanley, don't you understand? You hit a certain age and you start to act phony. You start to care about how people look and what they wear. Well, maybe you know my little sister. Is she like you? <laughs> no, no, she's terrific. Andrea, she's in the ninth grade here. You know what she does sometimes? She just looks into a mirror and laughs. <laughs> Isn't that great? It's like she knows how absurd everything is. I mean, haven't you ever just looked into a mirror and laughed? <laughs> You've got a lot to laugh about. Spencer, it's not too late for you to turn yourself around and become something really important. A doctor, a lawyer. A guidance counselor. <laughs> yes, sir, I'll do my best. Spencer, I'm just here to help you. I want you to think of me as a father. Spencer Beanley. I'm gonna have a very tough life. <laughs> I couldn't make it to school yesterday because I was visiting relatives. I understand. It's a long trip to Mars. <laughs> 
but that's no excuse. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. The principal has suspended you, and that's all there is to it. I gotta go home. My father just died. I don't believe you. Call him up and ask him. <laughs> um, due to the extraordinary amount of pain, school has been canceled for the rest of the day. <laughs> like it works. Well, I'll have it down before the dance. The dance? Who are you taking? I, uh, I haven't decided yet. There are a lot of possibilities. Could be... Or it could be... Nobody? Don't tell anybody. Spencer, any girl would give their life to go out with you, and if they don't, they're slime. <laughs> Mom, you have this image of me being the most popular guy in school. I'm nothing special. Oh, honey, you are sensitive and handsome and fantastic and magnificent and terrific and brilliant. And I'm being perfectly objective about this. What's going on? Spencer can't get a date for the dance. The whole world has to know? I'm not the whole world, Spencer. I'm your father. If there's something I can help you with, just ask me. And if there is one thing I do know something about, it's women. Not a lot, but some. <laughs> Thank you, darling. So, don't you know any girls? Oh, there's this one. Really? I don't really know her, but I'm crazy about her. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I even followed her home from school. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> no, I don't believe it either. <laughs> I'm gonna end up one of those old men who pinches girls' butts and drools down his chin. <laughs> Come on, Spencer, it's okay. That's what 16 is. You're supposed to be chasing after girls, following them, lusting after them. Hey, I wish I was 16. <laughs> uh, you forgot what it's like. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna catch on fire inside. Love it when men talk dirty. <laughs> okay, Spencer, why don't you just call this dream girl up? I can't. Okay. I'll do it. What's her number? Mom, I'll make the call. Okay. <laughs> oh, can I have some privacy, please? Oh, sorry. Of course. 